why don't you get out of our country? We will, when you get out of ours. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum guys, welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. This has been inspired by most of our school kids who come and ask the teachers, Sir, I always get called a terrorist. Or what would be my response to X or Y or Z? And also certain brothers when they say, oh, I'm tired of people saying X, Y or Z, Black, Bar, Terrorist or Extremist or 9-11 or something like that. All this sort of stuff. So we here at Smile to Jannah wanted to give you a few clever responses to these dumb insults. Here goes. Number one, go back home. Why don't you go home, Muslim? Because then I'm going to be a victim of your foreign policy, mate. And I don't want any of that. Number two, Allah Akbar. But why do all terrorists say Allah Akbar? So you're telling me if a Christian kills someone and shouts Mr. Bean, somehow it's Mr. Bean's fault, mate. I don't think so, yeah? Number three, bomb anywhere? <laughs> Bombed anywhere nice lately? Uh, no. But I'm considering it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Number four, go blow yourself up. Go blow yourself up. How rude. <laughs> At least say please. Number five, Muslim scum. You Muslim scum. Yeah, go on. Surely that can't be the end of the sentence, mate. You m Muslim scum. You said that the first time. Number six. You people bombing. Why are your people bombing us? Hey, we're just here to spread democracy and liberate you, mate. What? Yeah, and show you freedom and another stuff. Yeah, doesn't sound nice when it's coming from the other person, is it? Number seven. Mohammed or Abdi? Is your name Mohammed? Or Abdi? It's both actually. What? Muhammad Abdi. What's your name? John? You don't need to know my name. It's John, isn't it? Number 8. Did you do 9 11? Did you do 9 11? What? If I did 9 11, mate, I'd be dead. Well, at least I'd be in a better disguise. You think MI5 wouldn't be able to find me and you'd be able to find me? Come on, mate. What's happening to the National Secret Service, huh? Number 9. Your people are best bombing. Why are your people bombing? Did you know that Obama dropped over 26,000 bombs in 2016? That's three every hour, mate. Do you want to rephrase your question there, Dave? Yeah, I thought so. Go have a Cornish pasty, mate. Good lad. Alright guys, that was a bit of fun. Sounded very funny and there were some quick sharp comebacks. But on the whole guys, obviously Islam does by definition mean peace. Peace not in the sense that we get walked all over. Obviously when it's time to talk, you talk. But guys, you can't claim to be a Muslim, a person of peace, and then beat the peace into the other person. I told you we're peaceful people. This is a religion of peace. Okay? You want to accept Islam now, yeah? It's a peaceful religion where you can have a good life and all that, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, that's right. He just needed a bit of the tough love. I know some kids they say, Sir, this person calls me this, I'll beat him up. Or, this person said this to me and I cussed him back. Guys, that's not how people of Islam are meant to react. The Prophet ﷺ came as a guide. If we are people who claim to have truth, then we have to suck it up sometimes. Be patient, learn to ignore and educate. You're a terrorist! Brother asked a very good question. According to the Oxford Dictionary, if you check the meaning dictionary definition of terrorist, 
it's a systematic definition of terrorist. That's what it is. So according to this uh, uh, definition, uh, I'm not a terrorist. I'm afraid you are a terrorist. So repeat after me, the kalima. Brother, you have to accept there's none worthy worship besides Allah. Sometimes in these situations when someone's clearly being a mug and just trying to pee you off, guys, don't get sucked in. Just ignore and get on with it. Alright guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.